Hi guys and welcome to an overview of Excel data entry form for employee payroll system with a user form. Okay, now let me show you guys how this works. I can delete, as you can see I have a lot of uh, Steve here, so we can delete some of those Steve's. Okay, then uh, one other good, very good thing about this project is you can search using any of this column, anyone. So let's assume we want to search with, we want to search for this data here. Look at this. SMG009. Okay, let's just try that out. As you can see, invalid data because I did not enter the correct spelling or the correct text in there. So let's give it a try again. SMG space 009. There we go. Okay. And we can even search another column. Let's see if we want to search. Okay, who actually earned 336 pounds? So we come in there and just enter three, three, six, and fifty-one. There we go. Oh, there's a pounds right in front of it. Yeah, we just have to be explicit about it. Okay, then we enter that again. And then now let's try that. There we go, guys. And that's supposed to be Natalie Bells. Okay. The other thing that we can do with this application is we can enter some other new data. Look at what we have in here. Let's change one or two things here and just click on add and add it to the system. So supposing I want to change that to let's say Freddy Frogner. Freddy Frogner, okay. It lives in little little Venus. That's a male. And I cannot change this, that will have to change itself. And let's come here and just change the wages. Yes, we can make changes to that. And let's change this as well. There we go. That's all we can change. And let's look at the period. The period is seven. Okay. And this other one, let's assume the tax number and this one is supposed to be national number change this as well and that's all so all we do, then need to do is to click on add wages there we go there now if you look here we have we have Freddy's uh, Freddy Frogner's details in there Okay, that's supposed to be Frogner. Okay. We have his details in there. We can even print if we want. We can reset and we can delete. If I click on print. There we go. That's what we get. I'm going to print it as a PDF file. All right, there. That's the printout straight from my desktop. So let's close that. And there, the other thing that we can do is we can click on exit and so on. Okay, and one very important thing about this project is you will not be able to tamper or, or do anything with the workbook itself. Whatever you want to do has to go through the form. That's a very important part of this project which I'm going to show to you guys. Like I said, this is just an overview. And I'll see you guys shortly with a full tutorial. Bye for now.